All right, well, we are at Walker Road Revelations. We're out here. We're going to uh, do a little street ministry today. Uh, we like to feed the bellies and feed the souls, all right? Uh, because Jesus, he is the living bread. And uh, that's the bread. If you get that, you will hunger no more. And that means you won't have that spiritual hunger inside of you, okay? All those cares of the world will pass away. All right, now today uh, we went with a little bit of a different approach. Okay, we went, we got some, uh, we got some Little Caesars pizzas, all right. We got some Dale donuts here, right. Two seventy a pack. We got some nap napkins there, and some water. Just a nice, basic, quick, easy meal. Okay, you can do this too. Okay, you can do this too. It's easy to help others. You just pull up, help them. Okay. And if you can't give it this way, you can always give it some other way. What's your gift? What's your specialty? Okay. What can you do? What it, what gifts has God blessed you with? What's in the desires of your heart for you to help other people? All right. This is the way that we do it. Um, but you can help the world. In, in little ways. So, and, and if you don't know what to do, ask God. He will. He will let you know what to do to, to be helpful and useful and to help your fellow man to love him a little bit better. Alright. up here come get come eat with us come pray with us we'd love to talk to you get to meet you god is a good good father that's our message we bring this is our church this is our ministry this is our service right here on the streets with the real people god loves us no matter where we're at he accepts us as his children no matter if we're lost found ugly fat doesn't matter there ain't no differences in this family we can find differences in everything that the humans give us except that human name joshua ben joseph jesus Jesus! Jesus! Jesus is alive! Woo! Write that down in your heart today. He's not just some guy in some storybook. He's alive. I know we just celebrated Easter. We were talking about that resurrection. Guess what? He's supposed to resurrect inside each of us and live inside of us, incarnate, and give us the wisdom to walk with him, to talk with him, to do the Lord's will. You know what that means? That means peace. That means joy. That means hope. That means love. That means mercy. That means kindness. That means enduring things that last. Spiritual stuff that lasts forever. We make our own music. We make our own food. And we follow Jesus ourselves. We don't follow St. Paul. We don't follow Peter. We don't follow the preachers on TV. We don't follow our pastor or our daddies or our mamas. We follow Jesus. Yeah, we're passionate about that. We're fired up to tell you that, that you can do that too. You don't know nobody between you and God. It's just us. It's just us. We're his family. That's good news. That's so infectious and it's transforming power. It is. It's good news. It heals. This is the medicine you needed to hear today. We, and that's what we do. We bring it everywhere we go. Every day is, every day is church for us. Every day is, is service for others. Every day. Praise God. We help somebody. Help somebody today.
Richard. Father, it is that simple. 
I think sometimes that we can attach to those things you hungry, that we've been brought up with. Pizza, come eat. Those messages of shame, those messages of regret and fear, and you'll never be enough, and you'll never be able to do it, and you'll never amount to anything, yeah, you, and you're no good. I want to tell you today, you are not evil and you are not a child of the devil. You are a child of God. All you need to do is to receive it. Just believe it to receive it. Today is the day. Jesus' message wasn't about worry or fear or anxiety. In fact, it was on the other end of that. His message was, don't fear, don't worry, don't be anxious, trust God, love God and love your fellow man, it's those two simple things, and there's one thing that I know about you folks out here is that you're always helping each other, okay, you're making sure that each other's taken care of, I know that. We got a saying about hobos, it's helping other brothers out. Come on now. Today is the day to rise up. To come out of this. If I can do it, you can do it. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. God loves you. He's waiting for you to come on home. And I want you to know that that's not a place, it's not a church, it's not a building. It's a frame of mind. It's what you believe. It's that simple, invisible, spiritual attribute of faith. That's it. If you believe it, you can receive it. God is your Father and He loves you. Donuts? A lot of pizza. I got donuts, though. You want to watch? You want three? You good? Yeah. We're out of pizza. We got a couple donuts left. But this good news we got, it don't run out. Woo! That's, that's the message today. This food might run out, but this spiritual food that we're serving today, what's on the menu, the fatherhood of God, the brotherhood of man, the sonship of all mankind, that don't run out. Write that down in your heart today. It's eternal.
Lord, we love you. Stay blessed. God is good. God is your Father. We got to get out of here. God is good. Take care of each other out here. We know you already do it. Take care of each other. Help each other do the right thing out here. Be brothers to one another. No matter where you're at, what's going on. Jesus was homeless one time too, okay? Nothing, nothing shameful about that. It's what you do with it now. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God next time you want to do something bad. Praise God, okay? We'll give you a new spiritual trigger today. Praise God. When you're about to cuss somebody out, praise God. Praise God. Flip the script, baby. Change the way you think so the things you think about will change your life. How about that? We love you. Be good to one another.